Um, the first thing it says is each bag of Skittles weighs about 61.5 grams. Before opening, oops, predict the total numbers of Skittles. I'm going to say 68 because I'm hopeful. So I haven't counted. I just dumped them out. See, here's my bag. So I just dumped them out. And I am going to be looking, so I'm going to use my pencil now, for my stuff. And it says, take a picture with your um, iPad. Before you do that, make sure you sort them. I did not add that, but please sort them. So then that way, if you need to, you can. So I'm going to sort them and then take a picture. Do, do, do. Um, when I'm sorting them, I have these whiteboard pads that came with our reading or math curriculum rather and this kind of helped me look at a couple things like holy cow that's a lot of purples too bad I am NOT a fan I like the greens because they're Apple and the reds I'm not gonna lie I'm not quite sure what I mean sometimes I eat them but I'm always in class and when we do this math assignment I usually just give them away but it looks like the red off the bat is like the least. Hmm, kind of sad. Oh, maybe not. Maybe there's least amount of... That's pretty close. I didn't guess for each color. Well, definitely yellow looks like there might be less. And if I wanted to... I'll move this camera over this way. If I wanted to, I could definitely set them up in an array so it might be easier to count um, and record my information. So there's obviously nine. There's a three by three. And then, oh, huh, ten. So I'd have to do five by two because that's the only factors that go into that. And then this one's nine, though. I actually don't like lemon Skittles. My mother-in-law does like lemon flavored stuff. I don't know if she actually likes Skittles. Oh, this is an odd one. That's a prime number. That's not a, that's an 11. So, so anyway, I didn't know if you guys want these pads. If you do, let me know. I put a couple in a few of the students' um, boxes, but I didn't get to ask everybody, I kind of just found them when I was going through some stuff, so let me know. And then my last, which is my, probably my least favorite, I think they're grape. I don't like grape flavored things, but Andrew did. So, I will um, <clears throat> maybe put them in a bag for later. Well, they don't really fit in a 3x3 three three array, so it's not divisible by 3. So, maybe if I do a four, yep, sure enough, a four by five, holy cow. So I'll take a picture, but I'm going to just write that down since I noticed this. This is a four by five, a two by six, um, this is just eleven. 3 by 3 and a, I'm going to switch this around so I can actually have an array so it'll be easier to count. 5 by 2. So I have 10, 9, 11, 12, ha, and 20. That's kind of funny. 9, 10, 11, 12, 20. So that definitely means we have an outlier. So I'm going to take a picture. Got me. To, to do. Picture my camera ready and picture taken. And we're good. So now that I have these for mine, it's going to be easy to answer this. It says, How much do we have all together? And I'm just going to do a little bit of math down below. So adjust my camera. So we have 9 plus 10 plus 11 plus 12 plus 20. 
so we have 9 and 11 is 20 plus another 10 is 30 and now we have 30 plus 20 I'm gonna add that one equals 50 I'm gonna move that so I don't get confused plus 20 equals 50 and 50 plus 12 equals 62 holy cow I have 62 skittles so that means I'm gonna go ahead and actually I'm gonna take a picture of that too because now I don't have to count them again if for my math problem tomorrow And I can record that I have a total number of Skittles is 62. And now I'm going to do flavors. And I'm going to go in not the size order. <clears throat> Yellow. What's this flavor? So I don't know. Is it lemon? It is lemon. Nine. Nine. That's this right I'll do that part. So nine lemon. O R A N G E. Please spell your words right. They're on the little bag. And then it says red. I wonder if red is strawberry. Actually, that's my favorite. Favorite. And I have eleven. And then I don't know. The green apple is amazing. I have 12 of those, of course, my favorite one I don't. And then grape. I have 20. So <clears throat> now it says amount. Sort by Skittle, by flavor, take picture, check did that. Fraction in the space above, record the fraction of each flavor by writing the number of the flavor over the total of the number Skittles. So I would put, I have 62, so 9 over 62, and then I have 10 over 62, 11 over 60, oops, what, I don't know, oh, I was putting the letter P because I was thinking 11 was prime, over 62. 12 over 62 and this crazy number 20 over 62. That was kind of easy. Now it says, <clears throat> check, I'm done with the fractions. Using the calculator, enter how many of one color you have and divide that by the total number of Skittles that you have. Sample, pink Skittles equals 13 divided by 66. So that would get me a point two zero nine eight so only record the numbers through the hundredths place so tenths and hundredths so I only want to do those two so now when I'm doing decimals I'm going to get out my calculator and it says let's see I don't know if you can but it's Hundreds, eleven. This was nine, and this one's total two. Just so I don't get confusing. Next one. it I should get nice hundred 
in problem number five, so over here, by 10, 100. So I, I would multiply this by 100, multiply that by 100, multiply that, because it's 100%, we're looking for 100%. When they multiplied it, two places, just like the two zeros, one, two. So I can move this decimal to the right, one, two, because I'm multiplying the percentage. So this is going to be, sorry, 14%. Move this one over with the two, one, two, 16%. Multiply that. Move it over twice because I got the two, seventeen percent, nineteen percent, and then a whopping thirty-two <clears throat> percent. That's crazy. Somebody was sleeping on quality control. I'm just saying. Now it says so. We're done with this one. Nailed it, and. Next it says, on the very last one, cost. If each bag of Skittles costs $1.09, how much does each Skittle cost? Divide how many Skittles you have by the total cost of the bag. So that means if I have 62 Skittles, or we do we divide the cost? We want to know how each sells. So 62 and I'm going to turn it into all pennies. So if I take this 62, I have 62 Skittles, and I want to figure out what, how much each, is. well first of all I know that if this is $1.20 for then it would be about two cents a Skittle. So my number is going to be small. And so <clears throat> I'm actually divide how many Skittles you have by the total cost. When I enter that, I'm actually going to take 109 because that's how many pennies I have. And I want to know how many pennies it costs for each Skittle. And I'm going to divide that by how many Skittles I have, 62. So or 109. Oops. Divided by sixty two, and that gets me a dollar or sorry, one <clears throat> and point seven five cents. So you're looking at about one and three quarters cent for each one. So you couldn't even like, if you charged a penny, you wouldn't make enough. If you charged two pennies for every Skittle, you'd make a little bit of money. Holy cow. That makes you think that those little machines that spit out a couple Skittles and you put a quarter in, they're making bank. All right, so I'm done with my worksheet. I'm gonna write down each Skittle costs. <clears throat> one cent each which makes sense I bet M&Ms are going to be more money because they don't I know they don't have as many in a bag just because they're M&Ms alright we're done have a good time eating your Skittles <laughs>